welcome back to my channel Alex here thank you guys so much for tuning in today if you are brand new to my channel welcome if you've never seen these big old cheeks before then do consider subscribing before you leave so for today's video I have my Alex is for the month of September I don't think I did one for August I don't think but yeah I'm back doing them um, I've been experimenting with a lot of new stuff some things are oldies but goodies but a couple of these are actually brand new so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on in so the first thing I want to talk about is a body care item that I have been using. I've been using black soap on my skin for a long time, but I recently switched to my body. Like I've only been using it on my face and I stopped using it on my face because it kind of was drying me out and I was getting a lot more breakouts than normal. So I was like, okay, this is drying out my skin now. My skin is like, nah, we're not into it anymore. So for my body, I went ahead and tried the Dr. Woods. This is their raw black soap. And this one has a scent of coconut and papaya and it smells smells amazing if you follow me on Instagram then you would have seen this a while ago in my stories when I first purchased it I really like this This also has a um, fair trade shea butter inside it so it makes it really moisturizing like I don't feel like I have to put on lotion when I come out of the shower once I use this on my body um, it's a gentle moisturizing exfoliant so it does a really good job of taking off all the dead skin cells and things like that and it has it's been used I believe fair trade shea butter if I didn't say that as well it's cruelty free um, it's gluten-free, 100% vegan, paraben and sulfate and sulfate free and no petroleum derivatives in this. So I've got a good like this much of it left so I've been using it a lot it's really really good you guys my skin feels amazing afterwards so it doesn't leave any residue or anything like that so if you're looking for a new type of soap or something to try out in the shower I would say go ahead and try the Dr. Woods line I believe they have a ton of different scents and things like that so check them out I, you can find them on Amazon but everything that I talk about today as always will be listed and linked in the description box for you guys to go ahead and check out so the next thing I want to talk about is this Derma E Anti Wrinkle Cleanser. I've been using this as a face wash recently for my skin and uh, let me tell you, amazing like this isn't something to deal with my acne scarring but it's going to deal with the plumping and the elasticity of my skin it has vitamin a and glycolic acid in it so that's always great for your skin this is 100 percent vegan cruelty free uh soil free it is what else is on here um it's also recyclable i guess the container of it but yeah this one is supposed to be a formula that gets all the dirt and oil out of your skin but also um leaving the skin feeling really invigorated and fresh and that's exactly what's been happening with me with this I love derma e products so I was really excited to go ahead and try this anti wrinkle when I knew you guys were like Alex you're only in your 30s why are you looking into anti wrinkle I think anything anti aging once you hit about 25 is really good to look into because then it gets your preps your skin and gets your skin ready to really start um, getting all of the wrinkles out like not turning so quickly I guess into like a wrinkle fest or a saggy fest so just make sure you're putting in vitamins and things like that into your skin to prep it and make sure that you get the best use of your skin your skin is the largest organ in your body so it's something that I think that we should really go ahead and take care of next up I do have some makeup items you guys know I have been playing with my own stash I haven't been buying makeup or anything like that but this item right here I've had this for a long time and I recently put it down and then I actually picked it up I haven't used it in a while this is my NARS Eda brush this thing right here this I think I've had this for about three or four years this brush does not shed it has not let me down you can contour with like like it's like contouring for dummies with this one like you can contour anything with this like the shape of the bristles the way it just fits into your face like it just the contours of your face it's really amazing you guys the bristles are really soft um this was not a cheap brush at all but it's something that you're gonna have for a long time like I said I've had this now three four years it has not failed me yet and I was like I wondered why I put it down I don't know why but I recently I picked it back up this month and last month and I was like yeah I have to tell you guys about it so if you don't have the NARS Eda brush in your collection make sure you have it because it is a makeup staple in my collection so I want it to be a staple in yours it's something that's 
never going to fail you when it comes to contouring and chiseling out the face, darling. You need your tools. You need the proper tools to get that done the right way. Speaking of proper tools, I have been obsessed with this right here. This is the Pure Sculptor Palette. Pure Cosmetics did a really good job with this one. Mine is disgustingly dirty. Like, that's how much I use it. I definitely use these two colors right here. Um, one is called Founder and one is called Inventor. I use it to go ahead and contour my face today and I really like it. I don't use the highlighters so much because I have a ton of highlighters. Like, I'm a highlighter freak. So, yeah, the contour colors are what I use the most. They're really nice. They're not warm tone. They are cool shades. So, do be mindful of that. But, yeah, this is the Highlight and Contour Palette from Pure and it's called Sculptor. And, like, everything, like I said, I'm going to put it in the description box so you guys can check it out. So, if you're looking for a new contour palette, powder contour palette, rather, then do give the Pure Sculptor Palette a try. And for my eyes, I'm not wearing lashes today. If you couldn't tell, you guys know I love lashes, but I'm not wearing them today because I've been really obsessed with my CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. This thing right here really is a total tease, you guys. My bottom lashes love this. Top lashes love this. It is that plastic comb type of bristle on the end of it and it has like a special one on the end end of it like it's super spiky it's really interesting but the actual formula and the bristles go together and really lift and separate your lashes really pulls them out my bottom lashes like i said loves this thing so if you're looking for a new mascara that's going to give you some length and separation then do try the covergirl total tease and last but not least for my hair obsessed with the cream of nature this is their hydrating curling cream now i don't use it for i guess curling my hair but i really love it as a moisturizer this one is from their coconut milk line and this is a it provides rich moisture and shine for soft defined curls so i'm thinking you could use this as a cream base if you're going to do your wash and go it's really good for that if you want to do the lock method for your wash and go then this is really good for that it does provide a really nice light coconut smell it's not very heavy at all. It's very sweet, mind you. Um, so if you aren't into super sweet scents, then I would stay away from this. But if you need a nice hydrating curling cream, then this will be really good for your hair, especially as we get into the winter months and it's kind of getting dry. Then your curls actually get dry as well. So this will be something to really put into your hair care regimen for the winter and autumn season. But yeah, if you need something, like I said, a really good moisturizer for your natural hair, then give the Cream of Nature Hydrating Curling Cream a try. I think it's something that you should definitely definitely have in your natural hair arsenal for the winter and autumn seasons because it's going to get dry your hair is going to get dry and I'm hoping that everything that I shared with you guys today is definitely going to be a part of your fall winter regimen all right you guys thank you so much for watching today as always everything will be listed and linked in the description box and let me know in the comment section if you've used any of these products before and if they have helped you in any way possible all right you guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have and I will see you in my next video really really soon